Rick Swift making his way to the world famous octagon. There are very few people who can end a fight as quickly as Mike Swick. He swears by the strategy, punches in bunches, and has knockout power in his hands. He's got decent skills on the ground too, and holds a purple belt under Dave Camarillo. Mike Swick, fired up and ready to go. Murillo Bustamante set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Bustamante is a very rare jujitsu talent. He holds a fifth degree black belt under Carlson Gracie. He is a former UFC middleweight title holder and is considered one of the best of the best in the world. Murillo Bustamante ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shave Gel. Get your edge. We are now set for the official introductions. And with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Mike Rick Swift! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the former UFC middleweight champion, Murillo Bustamante. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. Gentlemen, ready? Mike Swick. Ready? Murillo Bustamante. And here we Let's go. Fight. Nice kicks to the body. Swing and a miss. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Trying to close the distance. And the other guy stands right back up. Side control. Nice punches from the top. And back to full guard. Side control again. He ate that one. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Back to side control. Looks like Bustamante is cut here, Mike. And back to mount again. He's got the hooks in. He's going to try to flatten out his opponent. He's in side control here. He's got half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Able to posture up from full mount. Top position, he's doing a great job. If he can flatten out his opponent, Joe, he can put in a choke here with both hooks in. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. He's able to slide out the back door, and now he's out of trouble. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. He gets a takedown. Reversal. Very nice. He pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Keep going. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. He pulls guard. Side control now. Oh, 
Bustamante has really opened up now, Mike. That's a big cut. Great job on the reversal. 30 seconds remains in the round. Full mount here. He's staying on top of him. Oh, he's going for an eye bar. Round one complete. Aside from that submission attempt at the bell, we really didn't see much from either fighter, Mike. Well, let's hope that woke these fighters up. Like it woke the crowd up, Joe. Push the pace. Push the pace. Good? Sit down. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. He gets that back, you fight that two-on-one. If he gets that body lock, you got to fight it off. And you swim that arm over. Swim that arm over. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking for... The beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. He's got his back. Break that grip open. He jumps guard. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. Work that wrist control. Fast hands, good battle inside. That's it, pressure now. Get him backing up and make him pay. Stay busy. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Pulls guard. He's in full guard. Under three minutes now. Into half guard. Full guard here. Side control. Into his guard. Stay tight in there. Good sprawl. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Two minutes left in the second. Side control. Oh! Oh, to the midsection. Half guard. Bring your leg over. He lets him up. What an exchange here. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Oh, that's big, Joe. He dove right into that. Posture's up. And into full mount. Trying to pry those hands loose. His opponent's using real good... Oh! Oh, he rolled out of it. Very nice escape. Half guard. Oh, he gets... He's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. And that is the end of round two. A great display of grappling skills in that round. Absolutely, Mike. I love a good jiu-jitsu match, and these two are putting on a show. All day long, okay? You've got it all day long. You want this fight? You gonna go win this round? You got the fight. You win this round, you got the... Good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace right off. Good? Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power in that shot. Ah! 
Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. Working, everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? And we are Let's set fight. for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. You know, it's undeniable that he wants to take this fight to the... Nice trip. He's got the takedown. Pushing his opponent away. He's got the double. Good sprawl. Back to their feet. Nice right hand. He shoots. Nice job, double leg. Good sprawl. He's in the guard. Side control. He's got half guard. Into full guard here. And into side control. Oh, he ate a knee there. Beautiful knee. Boom! Trying to punish the midsection. Inside the guard. Pushes him off of the feet. Both guys staying in tight. Nice double leg. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Left hook, he's down! Oh! Beautiful flying punch! Under two minutes remains. He's got side control. He's got them up. Full mount. This is not good. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Oh, reversal. He ate that one. Wow, that right hand. Side control. Just over a minute remains. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. Oh! Oh, mount! Seconds remains in the round. Oh, he got reversed. Goes right into side control. Total control from the top position. Into half guard. And that takes us to the end of round number three. We head to the championship rounds. Joe, we saw that round mostly centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled and both are looking to finish. He gets that body off, you gotta fight it off. Good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on Good? Let's take it to the mat. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power in that shot. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. You can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long. Ariani gets us set for round four. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We begin the championship rounds. This is round four of this title fight. No, no, no. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Into the guard. Good sprawl. Johnny's got them out. This is not good. Oh, he gets reversed. Push your leg, get back to your feet. Check the wall and get up to your feet. You got plenty of time. Side control. Nicely done. And he gets reversed. Oh. He's got side control. He's in full mount. Oh, this and one another. is getting ugly. He's got the back mount here. Both hooks in. Rolls back over to mount again. Oh, reversal. Half guard. Under full mount. Now able to posture up. Boom. Oh, he's got an odd bar. 
That is a tight, tight arm bar. It is all over. Submission victory by arm bar. Very nice arm bar. We have a new UFC middleweight champion. Textbook jiu-jitsu. Yeah, you see it. Once he's got this, he's got the arm isolated. He arches his back, pulls it, extends the arm for the tap. Let's see it again. As soon as he extends that arm, but just his opponent has no choice but to tap here. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 30 seconds of the fourth round. To play the winner by tap out due to an armbar, and now, the new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Marilla Bustamante. Marilla Bustamante captures the UFC middleweight championship.